What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Vermont Team Number Three. My name is Joshua, and I'm the host of this show. Am I famous yet? No. Kind of famous? Kind of, no. Anyway, let's get the show started. Go, Go Panthers! Panthers! Welcome, Welcome to Fremont. Welcome to Fremont. The Polls and Fun Facts Department has a story about our very own auditorium. Let's check it out. Welcome to Fremont number three. Today we will be covering the 1933 Long Beach earthquake and how it affected Fremont. March 10, 1933 was a chilling day for many Californians. At exactly 5.54 p.m., a 6.4 magnitude earthquake began and lasted for a grueling 10 seconds, John C. Fremont being one of the schools damaged. Here we see the missing staircase and old yearbook pictures of what the stairs looked like before the earthquake. Here is the missing balcony. This was the old entrance to the balcony. Students have not been here for 60 years. Damages were never repaired due to lack of funds. Did you know that I'm super buff? To find out how I got this strong, we sent the closing events team to our very own weight room. Roll the tape. Wait, we don't even use the tape. Hey guys, you wanna get ripped like me? <laughs> I was all saying, you guys wanna get ripped like me? Let me show you an example. Get that out of here. Hey! <laughs> Alright. Well, if you want to work out, come to the weight room. Keep on watching it no more. But before we go, on Thursday 11th, we will not be going to school because it is Veterans Day. So let us support our veterans. Thank you for protecting our country. So let us have a moment of silence. Okay, let us begin. Hi, I'm, I'm Andrew Sua, and I'm here with... Javier Aguilar, I'm a program leader here for ARC, and I work in the weight room. Okay. So who can join the who can join the, the workout room? Um, pretty much everyone, 9th through 12th grade, is free. What days is it open? Uh, Monday through Friday, and the time would be 3.30 until like 5.50. Where's the weight room located at? The weight room is located here behind the boys' gym, um, by the basketball courts and the blacktop. Where can one go to the weight room and what time? Um, you can go after school um, from 3.30 um, until 6. And it's Monday through Friday and on early days, on Tuesdays, um, we open at 2, 2 to 5. What are some tips you give to beginners on lifting or any other exercises? Just try not to go hard the first time and don't overdo yourself and try to lift, um, try to start low and then make your way up. This is all for closing events. Thank you for your time. Thank you. That's all for closing events. Better see you in the weight room. Bye. Class of 2022, we have some news for you. Our senior team interviewed Ms. Ortega, and she's in charge of our yearbook. Mr. Reyes, did yearbooks even exist back in your day? How dare you? Minus 30 for calling me old? I didn't mean it like that, but time does fly. Let's check it out. So I'm here with the yearbook teacher, Ms. Ortega, and I'm going to ask her a couple questions. Who are the people working on the 2021-2022 yearbook? A group of students who I have working on the yearbook. Uh, it's a mixture of different SLCs. We have Magnet, we have Sigma, Mesa, and um, LSJ. Uh, it is comprised of 24 students and um, from all grade levels, 9th through 12th. So when is a good time to purchase the yearbook? So to purchase the yearbook, you can buy at any time. Um, we are having pre-sales this um, semester. Uh, our next pre-sale is from November 17 to the end of November. And then um, that pre-sale price is going to be $70. Regular price is $75. Well, when are the students who pre-ordered the book going to receive their book? 
So the yearbook, we do not submit until um, the end of March. The delivery date for the book is gonna be the last week of May. So that is when we get the books delivered. Students should receive their book the first week of June. Uh, where can students purchase the yearbook? Students can come to the auditorium um, for pre-sale days. I will be outside in the quad. I do my rounds, I walk around the quad and all of the lunch area and um, just find me. You can come to the auditorium. Why should students buy the yearbook? Students should buy the yearbook because think of the book as a memory book. 20 years from now, when you're an adult and possibly you have your own family, you can look back at your high school years and remember what you look like, the things that you were interested in, and the people you went to school with. So it's, it's a very good way to go down memory lane and relive your, or reminisce about your childhood, teenage years, and all that good stuff. You already know what time it is. It's that time for sports, sports, sports. Sports, sports, sports. We sent the, the sports team to the basketball courts. Let's see what they have for us. Welcome back to Vermont Teen Season 5, Episode 3. Today we have the opportunity to interview the girls basketball team on how what the responsibilities of being a team captain is and also on how to be a team captain. Let's check it out. What techniques do you use to motivate the team? Uh, pushing them to be the best. Staying humble. And encouraging them to not give up. And having positivity all the time. Yes. What are you most excited for this season? Uh, making memories, improving, and getting closer as a family. What makes a team captain? You got dedicated, reliable, and hardworking. How does someone become a team captain? Uh, being responsible, being dedicated, and being, having leadership skills. We want to send a big, a big thanks to all of you who got your COVID vaccine last week. Your efforts are taking us one step closer to ending this pandemic and finally revealing our faces. Oh man, do we really want to show our faces after all this time? Nah. Anyways, at least we won't have to show our two-tone mask tags. The Variety team did a, a story on our vaccination rates. Let's check it out. As we all know, getting vaccinated is a very important cause, not only for you, but for your community as well. The vaccine requirement applies to all LAUSD employees as well as parent volunteers and district contractors who work on campus. CDC now recommends that children ages 5 through 11 receive the age appropriate dose, which is one third of the adult dose of Pfizer Biotech COVID-19 vaccine. Smaller needles designed specifically for children are also used for children ages 5 through 11 years. In addition, Adolescents ages 12 and up are required to get fully vaccinated. About 62% of Californians have been fully vaccinated. 72% of residents in LA County have been fully vaccinated. 97% of LAUSD teachers and administrators meet the COVID-19 vaccination rate, while 70% of students in the district has shown a proof of at least receiving one shot of the vaccine. Students have to be fully vaccinated by January 10th of 2022. If students are not fully vaccinated by this date, they will be told to stay home and go to online school until further notice. After getting the vaccine, you may have some side effects, which are normal signs that your body is building protection. These side effects may affect your ability to do daily activities, but they should go away in a few days. Some people have no side effects. In general, people are considered fully vaccinated two weeks after the second dose in a two-dose series such as Pfizer or Moderna vaccines or two weeks after a single-dose vaccine such as Johnson & Johnson and vaccine. To find a COVID-19 vaccination site near you, search vaccines.gov, text your zip code to 438829 or call 1-800-232-0233. This week's uh, Vermontian Spotlight highlights Mr. Edwards. Let's get the inside scoop. Check it out. My name is Mr. Edwards, and I teach social studies in the Magnet School. 
Uh, I like the interactions with the kids, and as I love history, I enjoy trying to share this knowledge with my classes. I think I always wanted to be a teacher, but I was coaching sports before I started teaching, and coaching is very much like teaching. It's the classroom is the field rather than in a building. So I think I was already in that kind of mode of being an educator, and so it seemed natural when I left uh, aerospace to get into teaching. I love history. I always kind of have been fascinated by the past and how we uh, sometimes repeat ourselves. There's a famous quote that so says, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. And I'm, in teaching history, it's trying to teach the mistakes that we have made as a country and to hopefully not repeat those mistakes again. Before I was teaching, I was a manufacturing engineer. I worked in the aerospace industry for about 12 years. Uh, the industry was laying off and so I changed careers. But if I hadn't had to, I think I would still be an engineer and I'd still be working in aerospace. That was fascinating and I really enjoyed working with professionals and working on the programs. We worked on hypersonic spacecraft. I worked on the space shuttle. Uh, the International Space Station. It was all really interesting. I wish I was still doing it. And something that I give to my seniors at the beginning of the senior year is a list of important things to know about life and number one on the list is life isn't fair. They need to do what they are supposed to do and not expect that people are going to give them things and that things are sometimes not going to work out their way and they need to persevere. They need to stick with it and keep working hard because you know it doesn't always seem fair, but that's how life is. This has been Fremontian number three, season five. My name is Joshua. Am I at least famous now? That's still a no. Oh, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the, the bell for notifications on every time we post a new video. Go, Go Panda! Panda! Welcome, Welcome to Fremont. To Fremont.